Jesse McDougall with the Martial Arts of Money, coming with a book review today. Um, this one is very, very, very important to me. Uh, I am definitely emotionally attached to this book. This was the book that took m me from um, in working in the corporate world. I was working at the control at a high tech company and me and the VP would always talk. And uh, he said, you have to read this book in order for you to understand where my brain is at. And so I read the book right away. I read it in a day, um, maybe two days. This book is called Viral Loop by Adam Penningberg. And this book, uh, so I came from a, an accounting brick and mortar corporate route, uh, worked in the accounting uh, firms, did some controller, contract controller jobs at multiple different places. So I got to see, you know, brick and mortar business and audited, a, you know, a bunch of companies. So I've seen a lot of brick and mortar business. I was always interested in internet. Um, I made money on eBay when it first came out and Yahoo auctions when the internet first came out. It's how I paid for my second year's university tuition. Um, I originally went into computer science, which into business. So why this is important because when you hear, you know, when you hear people say, oh, this went viral, this went viral, you know, what does that really mean? And, uh, you know, yeah, it went viral. People shared it on social media and blah, blah, blah. And you got more likes. But this book talks about, uh, this is around, um, it's an earlier book. Let's see when it was made. Oh, it's getting a five out of five. This book was made in 2009. So it's kind of old for internet days, but um, what's important in here is it shows you the strategies that successful companies used like eBay, like PayPal, like Barack Obama used viral loop techniques to increase their uh, revenue. And it starts talking about the concept of a small piece, you know, small donations in large amounts and how much money it is that $5 you spend every day at Starbucks on your crappy coffee that you can make a better coffee at home. Um, how much that adds up to. So they start talking about that successful companies that did that for business, but it talks on a tactical level. So if you know nothing about the internet and you know, what's the social media on you, you know, that kind of stuff, this is a really good book uh, for you to see. It even covers, uh, covers PayPal. So, um, Let's see here. So Elon Musk is in here at some point. It, it just breaks it down. This is almost like, a, I would say this should be, um, like if I was running a business course, this book would be in the course. Everyone would read this book. If computer science, you would be reading this book and I would be testing you on this book, the techniques in this book, a what is a viral loop. Um, yeah. Here's one cool, uh, viral businesses, uh, the Tupperware and Ponzi schemes, original viral models. If you hear some say, oh, that's a multi-level, uh, it's a pyramid scheme. It's actually a multi-level marketing. When someone says pyramid scheme, they just have a low business intelligence. They actually just don't know what they're talking about. And that's fine. Most people don't know what they're talking about when it comes to, uh, business business operations on a tactical and strategic front. It's the reason why most people don't own businesses and let alone successful businesses. Uh, the first, so I'm just going to read some of the chapters here. The first online viral expansion loop. You got to remember like, you know, now we can just press the share button. Okay. On Facebook or Twitter or whatever, blah, blah, blah. You can share all this content, blah, blah, blah. But at, you know, how many years ago, nine years ago, this concept of share didn't even exist. So that's the thing you got to remember and try to put yourself in when you're reading um, material and information that's from the past, put yourself, try to put yourself in the mindset and think through the person of that time when these tools and resources weren't around. And that's what I attempt to try to do when I read his, history books and I listen to Hardcore History with Dan Carling. I just attempt like how good you have it uh, in this world today. It's just insane. Um, that's why I'm truly grateful. 
when the audience decides what's good, viral video as marketing strategy, eBay and the viral growth uh, conundrum, PayPal, the first stackable network. Oh yeah, tweaking the viral coefficient. So when I, when I uh, after I read this book, I decided that I'm going to be, I didn't know what I was looking for, but I knew I had this intuition inside of me that was searching for something. And I said, I want to be interested in businesses where there's a, in scenarios where there's a viral loop coefficient, just the possibility of a viral loop coefficient. I'm not going to bank my business on being viral. A lot of people start their campaigns and they say, if they're starting on, hey, this is going to go viral. Um, no, that just kind of, if you can make a campaign go viral, like you are an internet genius. Um, if you have a path, uh, a proven model to do that, you can build traffic, sure, and build like scalable traffic, but that takes time. If you get something that goes viral, like right away, like good on you, but most people can't do that. Um, and if you can do that, let me know. I would love to talk to you. Uh, so yeah, but you want to tweak your viral coefficients. Uh, let's see. Okay, so now let me read. And this, how long is this book? Yeah, this book was not too long, 200 pages. And uh, yeah, this was just amazing. Let's just see. I got some notes here, but they're all uh, they're all kind of, I can barely read them. The water got in this book. This is the book I took across Canada. I took it from Vancouver to Thunder Bay, back to Vancouver. It's just one of the, these books that I'll keep forever. Uh, Oh yeah, this is so funny. Okay, it's like a guy holding a puppy scores higher than one who doesn't. It's talking about online dating. If you just hold a puppy, you will get more views. You just will. Oh, well, what's the math behind that and why? Like, don't worry about that, okay? Stop trying to analyze and put everything into a model. If you have a profile... Put your profile picture with a puppy. And I'm going to sound like kind of a, I'm not a douchebag a bit here, but I was rated the second hottest guy in Vancouver on Plenty of Fish for uh, an entire summer. So I kind of, I've had a lot of uh, good results with online dating. And yeah, I had <laughs> a puppy in my profile picture. And guess what? It worked. And you also have a nice background. Backgrounds are really important. You can have a mountain, ocean, or uh, sunshine. Something to catch someone's attention. Uh, that's what people want. And something that's cute. Okay. It is, it's possible to build a multi-million dollar product or a billion dollar idea from scratch simply by designing the product a product the right way and that's true i have friends that are multi-millionaires and they have products and make millions of dollars you can do this it, it is possible a lot of freaking work that's for sure uh there's gonna be a lot of obstacles a lot of people you're gonna have to deal with that you're just gonna have to politely tell to f off or you might just get into uh you know an altercation like it's inevitable if you want to be successful in business you better be tough if you can't tell someone to take a hike, it's, I'm not sure how far you can go. That's just out of my experience. Create something people really want so much that their customers happily spread the product for them through their own social network. Stop spamming people. Create something people want. Word of mouth. Yeah, and this is right. Human behavior is largely predictable. And this, this book really helped me with my advertising. There's two things with humans are very pre predictable. If you can figure out someone's fear and someone's greed, you can usually anticipate the next thing they're going to do. Not always, but a lot of people you can. And you can start to put people in certain buckets, right? The one bucket um, uh, I have is like, you know, there's the type of, and there's articles on this out there you can find. So on toxic people, 
the triggers of what toxic people are. And typically toxic people, they operate out of state of fear. So um, you can start to recognize people's in the conversations when you pick up the frequency of fear and just their tone of voice and what they're talking about. Uh, toxic people, just stay away from them. I'm dealing with a few of them right now in uh, two of my businesses. And uh, we'll see We'll see how it, uh, how it goes. And out of the four hour work week, he, he says, you know, uh, it's usually 20% of your customers are taking 80% of your time. But they're only generating 20% of the revenue. So get rid of the 20%, find a new customer. It's okay to fire customers. Okay, so yeah, small is the new big. Friends, neighbors, relationships, customer education, free but not free. You see this all the time now. Like, you know, go download my free blah, 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 my free yak, yak, yak. Um, actually, in my email, one of my email campaigns, the verticals I got going on right now, I got like a free giveaway. And uh, I was just doing some free giveaways just to get some uh, the audience engaged. And But I went the other day, I went through the sales funnel and I didn't do this ahead of time and I realized how brutal it is it's just people go into this sales funnel survey 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 they don't even get their free sample you just um question 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 this that yeah yeah now i have uh that was two days ago and now i have 250 messages in my inbox in one of my accounts so it's just like i don't know you know i kind of it's false and misleading because my creatives are beautiful it's false and misleading that you know, they don't actually get their sample. So uh, that's important because uh, giving away free stuff. If you actually want to build an audience online, actually invest $10,000, buy a dollar part from China, whatever it is, some electronic, import it here, uh, send out a campaign and say, hey, I'll give away every one in 10 customers actually gets this item and do a video blog like I'm doing here. You will actually get this. I will give this to you, um, you know, uh, you just have to pay for shipping and handling. When you pay for shipping and handling, don't accept their credit card. Only accept PayPal. If you're accepting people's credit cards, they might think you're a fraud or have some kind of the green trust logo. I forget which company is the good one out there right now. That So it's certified. You're a reputable person. You're not some guy trying to scam them. You just want their email. You want them to opt in because you want to send them other offers in the future. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's not this, you're not a spammer. Uh, just make sure they can press the unsubscribe button. That's how you make money. Lots of work and it takes a lot of time. Anyways, uh, I gave you a little martial arts of money ninja trick there. A viral loop. But uh, where I'm at today, this was a pivotal moment. I, re I actually remember reading this book where I was reading it specifically. This was, this was, uh, took my brain from here to here. This brought me into the big brain world coming from the, I had a big brain world in the business world. Um, but this brought me into big brain, next level, scalable, huge numbers, able to think big. All right. Take care. Have a great day. Bye.